Good afternoon, this is Officer Nelson with Unity One. What I'd like to talk to you about today is preparing for any emergency that you might encounter. When you first come across an emergency, make sure you use the old OTA loop. That's observe, orient, decide, and then act. Don't panic. That could be your worst enemy and it can multiply your problems by 10. The next thing I'd like to speak to you about in preparing for an emergency is keeping an emergency recall roster in your home with the numbers that you need to contact poison control, animal control, hospital, family member, anybody that might help you out such as the police department or Unity One. You can display this on your refrigerator or you can put it on the back side of a cupboard so as not to be unsightly when you have guests over. Should the power fail on our grid, you'll need to keep in communication with authorities and your loved ones and possibly just hear the radio to know what's going on. I suggest something that is solar. Now you can go out and use the sunlight and retain a charge for your cell phone that will still work even when the power grid is down around the city and you can't plug into a wall. Increase your situational awareness. Pull your head up out of your cell phone. Every single day on the street I see people crossing the road in the crosswalk with their head down, tapping away in their iPhones or their computers, completely unaware of the motorists around them. It's upon you to remain alive, not upon them. They could be intoxicated, they could be under the influence of something, they could just be lackadaisical and their foot could slip off the brake and onto the accelerator. You just got mowed down because you didn't have the situational awareness to dive out of the way. Pay attention to your surroundings and take care of yourself. The next thing I'd like to speak to you about in preparing for any emergency is throwing together a go bag. Now, a go bag could be for the individual or for all your family members. The goal here is to get you something that you can grab and get out the door and survive comfortably for the next one to three days. An example of some of the items that you might contain inside would be a flashlight, a change of socks or underwear for your children, the appropriate medications or antihistamine, asthma medication, anything that might apply to a family member that they would need something on the go. A knife, batteries, first aid kit, any of these things would be a great idea in addition to water. Never forget, you need to stay hydrated no matter what. If you're gonna do business with people on Craigslist, make sure that you've set up in a public place such as a coffee shop where you've got plenty of witnesses around and you can do business freely. Don't agree to meet in a parking lot on the back side of a grocery store at 10 o'clock at night to get that new iPad. You could find yourself at gunpoint and being robbed. It's becoming more and more rampant. If you're going to go and do this, also inform someone to either come with you, sit in another vehicle to observe everything in case anything goes wrong, or at least have a system of check in and check out with somebody on the telephone so they know where to go looking for you. Now, I've spoken to you in the past about social media. Now let's talk about hard copies of things. If you're gonna throw something into the trash, make sure that you shred it. It could be vital social security information. It could be a credit card offer that you decide to discard. Somebody else can pick it up afterwards, file for that card, and now they've got it in your name, ruining your credit. The next thing I'd like to speak to you about in your emergency preparedness is the possibility that you might be a firearm owner. The problem with this is that a lot of people simply go out and purchase their favorite firearm, put it on the shelf, and they go, yep, I've got one. They don't know how to use it. Go out and get trained, get your certifications done, know how to use your weapons in order to take care of yourself and your family. If you find yourself going away on vacation, lock and bolt that door if you have the capability. Another step that you might take is unplugging that electronic garage door opener. If there's no juice to it, it doesn't make a difference if they have the code or not. They can't open it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions for me, make sure that you leave them in the comment box. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.